Hello, welcome to Tech Transform. In this session, we are going to discuss about the Spark internals. In my last uh, session, I have demonstrated to you how to count the ratings based upon the movie lens data sets. In this f session, we are going to uh, take that same example, but we are going to understand what the what Spark is going is doing the internals. What what the internals of the Spark is happening when we are uh, running those examples. So I strongly recommend if it, if you haven't uh, see that particular uh, example, just go and watch that video. I have already the link is uh, pop popping over at the right top cor top corner. So why is Spark uh, understanding the Spark internal is. Uh, uh, very useful because once you're going to write your uh, spark code in the future the more, more complex code you're going to write a lot of transformations and actions you're going to perform in those cases if you're if you're understanding the how the spark internals happens internally how sparks works how sparks created direct directed a cyclic graph and give you the optimal solution and give you the result as as fast as it can in those cases uh, is there is a small mistake also can cost you performance so in order to understand spark uh, closely you have to understand the uh, spark internals so let's get started what actually happened in our last example in last example what we did uh, we take the data uh, from a data uh, from the movie lens data set and we uh, create a RDD when then we transform that RDD and apply a map function then we trimmed out all the ratings data from that RDD then finally we performed actions count by value uh, we count by value then we finally we got the number of counts for each rating so that's what actually happened so uh, this is very uh, see this is what it happens and as you when once you created uh, all these things uh, you have executed this and execution plan is created how uh, in this uh, using text file we uh, loaded the raw data into our RDD then by applying map function we got this RDD rating RDD and finally applying the <coughs> finally when we applied count by value then uh, finally we will uh, finally we, we got uh, uh, for each ratings number of counts like this so you can <coughs> see clearly <coughs> this is fine we got this rate raw data populated into text text uh, in an RDD. This is also fine. You can see because this is a one one to one operation is happening. For every row, you are getting one output. Means there is a one one to one operation. Means everything is happening from he this RDD to this RDD parallelly. If it is distributed across clusters, also it can be uh, it can be happen easily because it's it's happening parallelly. But uh, what about when after this map when you are doing apply this count by value action? So here the things become complex. How? Uh, because this let's say these two data are sitting in different different nodes and this data this data is sitting different different node. But finally you apply this count by value action. You are actually a Spark have to reshuffle data. He have he has to give you okay for this final result he has to send that data back. Okay where is this three count rating? The, it will send to to this final result it will it will uh, send to this final result this two will go to this final result in order to get the count so this entire operation is called shuffling in a spark <coughs> means you have to shuffle your data according to uh, what you want to achieve in your action so that's what a, uh, a spark has to move your data across different nodes in order to get the particular <coughs> in, in order to get the final count so that's this operation is uh, very costly because shuffling of data involves uh, net uh, transfer of data from this node to that node and all those have to keep track uh, what is uh, which node is getting uh, which data and all those so this shuffling is very important so uh, when once you once you write a uh, uh, when when in future when you start writing uh, spark programs you have to think about in that sense where you're going to minimize this shuffling of data you have to write a code like that you can achieve as much as using parallelism you have to you have to use par pa parallels as much as you can then because right now we cannot do anything we have to apply count by value in order to get the creating counts so this is fine but in order to write a good performance spark code 
you have to uh, minimize the reshuffling of uh, data so that's what the concept is behind the scene what spark does and once it is executed it create a direct acyclic graph and it will uh, utilize the what is the optimum uh, solution for for this operation to perform and it will uh, give you the data back after the uh, after understanding this uh, the concept how how uh, the execution plan created then the parallel process will go in a stage uh, then the uh, whole process is going to divide into different stages so the 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 process which is going to perform parallel parallelly it's going to come in a single stage because this uh, this uh, getting the file into raw uh, in our raw rdd and finally applying map this becomes parallel so this this can go along with that this can go both along with that so that's what is coming to stage 1 then stage 2 we are actually reshuffling the data so here we have one to many and reshuffle of data is everything is happening here so that's what we have stage 2 also here so that's how uh, spark internally uh, create a stage which uh, or what are the tasks which are going to in a single stage and what are the tasks which are going to the, in the next stage so that's how spark works internally so job is broken into stages when data needs to be reorganized so here data is not needs to be reorganized because here it's going to be work parallelly into the cluster of nodes but here data is going to reorganize your data is going to reshuffle that's what the new stage is introduced here then what happens finally each task is divided into finally number of each stage is finally divided into number of tasks. Let's say this the mapping is happening parallelly, so this two task is going to perform on a single node. This these two uh, uh, mapping is going to perform on a on a different uh, uh, nodes of a cluster. This also having uh, performing in a different node. So that's how your each stage inside that stage number of tasks is created and it's, it's it is going to distribute uh, among your uh, uh, among your clusters okay and finally tasks are scheduled across your cluster and executed so finally your cluster cluster manager role is very important it is going to take back all the results and uh, it knows where the data sits in which nodes what the data is finally have what it will do it will f finally finalize the uh, result and it will give uh, back that particular result to final result to a driver program and the user will get the final uh, rating uh, counter data so that's what uh, uh, we understand in this how spark works internally this is very important in order to write uh, very uh, very efficient code in spark and the remember the goal is to uh, minimize the uh, shuffling and uh, maximize the par 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 parallel tasks so that's all for this video thanks for watching have a good day bye